in motorsport, you change a car to make it faster, to make it a lap faster, or to satisfy the rules. In road cars, the rules are a little bit different. And while there's a seemingly endless war being waged between the car manufacturers for more tech and more power, it's good to see that a few are still putting driver enjoyment at the forefront. Enter the Aston Martin Vantage AMR. Now, the Aston Martin Vantage is already one of our favourite sports cars. So what exactly has Aston Martin done to make it even better? Aston Martin has made the Vantage slower. Wait, what? That's because the Vantage AMR is the first version of this car with a manual gearbox. And because us mere humans can't change gear as quick as robots and computers, it makes the AMR slower. Now, one major advantage humans have over robots and computers is the fact that we know how to enjoy ourselves. And there is a lot of enjoyment to be had from taking full control of that twin turbo V8 up front. You can change gears when you want, it's engaging, it's a mechanical change. Now, it's not perfect, but that's not what it's about, is it? It's about the engagement, it's about the enjoying the driving. Aston Martin includes a rev matching system actually in this car. By default it's turned off, which I really like. It means it's up to you if you want to use it or not. And it's very, very clever, of course, but I'd rather fluff a few heel and toe changes in the pursuit of trying to perfect it for yourself than letting the computer get involved in all the fun. And as well as the ceramic brakes, you also get a mechanical limited slip differential. Now, that's important because it gives the car a very different personality. It makes the car a little more pointy, a little bit more agile again, and that's, you know, that suits the more fun aspect of it. So as I said, Underneath the bonnet is the same 510 horsepower engine as before. It has a little bit less torque to protect the gearbox, but Aston Martin has managed to take nearly 100 kilograms of weight out of the car. So, you know, that balances out quite nicely. And anyway, that's not the point of this car, as we mentioned at the start. It's not about lap times. If you want to go for lap times, buy a PlayStation. If you want to have fun, buy a high-performance sports car like this, with a lot of power and a manual gearbox. There aren't very many of them around. Let us know what you think about the automatic versus manual debate in the comments below. Please press the subscribe button. And for a written review of the Vantage AMR and all its rivals, pop along to completecar.ie.